Justin, assuming there are tweaks to the offense, as Mario talked about kind of putting in each year, do you feel coming into camp that you know kind of what you guys have added and subtracted and, and kind of in control of the offense from day one? Uh, yeah, we've, we've kind of looked at what, what worked well for us last year and, and kind of went back to that. And we're going to look at things that, that we didn't do so well last year. And we're going to work on those. And um, it's going to be pretty much the same as off as last year and, and just a few minor tweaks here and there. Justin, talk about uh, you know, a lot of new phases on the wide receiver core. Talk about your wide receiver group heading into this fall camp. They're a really athletic bunch of guys. Um, it's a competitive group, and, and they get after it each day, and it's been really fun to watch so far. They, they had a good day today, and um, really looking forward to what they, what they can do this year. I asked Troy this, but as a player, what's your thoughts on 9 a.m. kickoff times, and I guess just how would that impact your morning or your, your routine? Um, I think as a player, I would say it doesn't matter too much time what, what time we're playing. I think as long as we show up and, and play as well as we can, I think it doesn't really matter what time we, we start off at. Justin, you decided to come back. What is it that you enjoy most about playing here, and what are you looking forward to most this season? I think it's a really special group of guys. Um, all the guys sitting over there, they're, they're great to be around. They're great teammates. and. Um, I think the coaching staff and all the staff members we have here, is, it's really special and it's, it's something that I really wanted to be around for another year. Justin, can you talk about your journey here a little bit? When you were recruited, these guys were still on top of the pack uh, in national rankings, struggled that first year here, and then been building the last two. Can you talk about your personal journey, yours and Troy's as true freshmen playing and so forth? And then uh, is this team ready to be a favorite in this league? I think you did a, a pretty good job of covering my journey so far. Um, I came here and, you know, we weren't, weren't a great football team. And um, we were kind of a, a group of individuals that, that year. And um, I think over the past couple of years, we've, we've done a really good job of coming together and, and becoming a team. Um, really excited for this year. And we've put in a lot of good work and really excited to get after it. Hey, Justin, uh, we actually chatted with uh, Kellen Strom earlier this week. He was here with his baseball team, and he was just talking about uh, the relationship he had with you and with that Sheldon group. Can you just talk a little bit about, as, that, as you guys have now aged and grown up a little bit, to see what he's doing and what you've accomplished here, uh, that group from the Irish? It's been really fun to watch. It, it doesn't surprise me, though. He's, he's been a special athlete for as long as I can remember. And, uh, growing up and even as far back as kindergarten, we played soccer, baseball, t-ball, uh, all those sports together. So it's been really fun to watch and doesn't surprise me at all. You know, Justin, when you first came in looking at how the recruiting classes have changed over the course of the last four years, I mean, how much more physically ready are the guys that are coming in in these current classes of 2019 as opposed to maybe what they were like in your freshman or sophomore year? Yeah, it's, it's completely different. Uh, I think the group of guys that, that have started to come in, it's, it's different. They're, they're different body types, and uh, they're much more prepared for, for college football. And um, I know when I came in my freshman year, I probably doesn't, didn't stack up well to a guy like Kayvon and um, all those guys. So it's really been fun to watch, and, and they're ready to get after it. Coach Cristobal said that um, you've got 19 days of camp and then you start looking at Auburn. But are you, like as a team and you personally, already kind of looking forward to that game? Uh, that's a good question. I, I would say that we're, we're more focused on the 19 days of fall camp. Uh, we, we got a lot, a lot to correct and we got a lot of time before then. And, and we're going to do our best to get ready, do everything we can to, uh, to get this team ready for the season. What's your opinion on this team being picked? first in the north what makes you think that this team's capable of doing that i think it's a great opportunity i think uh it's a, a sign of all the hard work that we put in this off season um, a lot of guys coming back and uh really looking forward to, to watching this team play and it's it's a huge honor for sure and and uh, we're gonna do everything we can to, to play good football this year what do you want to improve on this year you personally what what what's the next step for you uh i would say consistency i think uh, at times we, we played pretty good football last year um, the first half of the year, we were, we were moved the ball really well and, and kind of fell off in the later part of the year. But uh, I'd say putting together a full season, full game would be huge. James, right here in the 
Justin, one of the few position battles on the offense is along the line between Brady and Dallas, and they don't even play the same position. But for you, how, did, how much does it change when one is in versus the other? I realize they're both game experience and good players, but does it change for you very much between them and where Throck plays? No, there's, there's no drop off between those guys there. They're, they're both so experienced, and, and Brady's played a, a ton over the past four years, and Dallas has, has been thrown in there a bunch, and they're both guys that, that I trust and the, the rest of the offense trust. So um, it'll be fun to watch and, and, and know that we've got two good guys that we can throw in there whenever. Justin, going through everything you went through last year, you received so much national attention. Was there anything you learned from that experience, even leading up to your decision for whether to go to the draft or not, that maybe you can take from, from last year into this year? I would say not to let it distract you too much. Uh, kind of just focus on what's around you, focus on our guys, our team. Um, listen to, to the people that really mattered to you and, and try not to let it distract you too much, I'd say. What was it like being, I mean, it's first day at camp, but what was it like being on the field with your brother, you know, First day of camp as teammates. Any funny moments together? Any anything that happened that stands out? Uh, no funny moments yet. Um, maybe in a couple of days, but uh, it kind of reminded me of high school. It's it's been fun and and uh, it's not something you get to do too often. So it was a special moment and, and uh, glad to be back out there. Overall, for a first day, what do you think offensively? First, fourth time you've come into a first day camp. What did you think of the way kind of the guys came together today? Uh, it didn't. It didn't look like it was our first day. Um, I think we did a great job this off season getting together, throwing, uh, working on the team, team stuff, and uh, it was it was a good day. I think we we made some penalties, had some had some drops, and and some bad throws, but uh, that's expected on the first day. And overall, I thought it was a good day. So the very first games on national TV against Auburn. How much are you looking forward to that? Um, it, it'll be a great opportunity for us. I, I, I can't wait for the season to get started, and, and I know everyone else is super excited about it. It'll be a great opportunity for, for a Pac-12 school against the SEC, so it'll be a great opportunity for us to go out there and, and play some football. Thank you, Justin. Awesome. Thank you.